Hello and welcome to another video by Haste Computer Repair. And today we're taking a look at the Lenovo ThinkStation P320 desktop PC for use in 2023 and onward. As you might have noticed with the sticker out front, we have an Intel Xeon E3-1275 V6 4-core 8-thread CPU at 3.8 GHz. And we have 32GB of Samsung branded DDR4 2400 MHz RAM running in dual channel. A nice feature of this motherboard is the expansion included with these four PCIe lanes. They're all running at PCIe 3.0 speeds and it's perfect for graphics cards, Wi-Fi cards, net network cards, etc. And the only thing I'll be installing today is this Lenovo branded NVMe solid state drive adapter. Now we also have the benefit of six SATA ports on the motherboard and we can put another hard drive in this bay up here in this bay and maybe another SSD or whatever in the other expansion bay. We could even replace that optical drive with another hard drive. One rather disappointing feature is the power supply. It's only 250 watts and the only cables coming out are for powering the CPU and a 10 pin power plug here on the motherboard. Now the reason why that's disappointing for me is because that limits the amount of expansion and upgrades you can use. There is no power plug for a graphics card that requires one. There is a 400 watt power supply with a four pin power plug for this PC, but it is really expensive for what it is. Now, one way to remedy the power supply problem is with a cable adapter. What I have here is a 24 pin to 10 pin adapter. And for an example, I have a, another ThinkCenter M800 PC here with one installed. In particular, this rather random StarTech 400 watt power supply. Now, if you choose to do this, be aware that this cable adapter basically acts like a jumper. You can see one cable right here, uh, much like a jumper for testing out power supplies. And this means that the power supply fan on the power supply upgrade will be running at all times unless you physically turn the switch off. So just to drive it home with the stock 250 watt power supply, there are limitations, but you can still install graphics cards that don't require extra PCIe power plugs. And with the power supply cable adapter, you can install whatever card you might have that does require PCIe power plugs. Of course, this GTX 960 and GTX 750 aren't the greatest examples, but they're just what I have laying around in my unintentional EVGA GPU collection. So taking a look at the front IO, we have two USB 3.0 microphone and headphone input. There's the power button off to the right, and of course the optical drive and the rear I.O. features a VGA port, serial port, 2 times display port, 4 times USB 3.0, 2 times USB 2.0, RJ45 Ethernet port, audio in and out, and we have a 92 millimeter exhaust fan. Okay, so I've got the tower plugged in now and I just wanted to briefly demonstrate the performance that you might expect running this 4 core 8 thread Xeon CPU. It will of course provide a nice snappy, fast, responsive system, uh, especially paired with that 30 two gigs of DDR4 memory. You can get up to lots of different work tasks like email with relative ease. And I would judge that I would be totally fine for using this as a daily driver for work, pleasure, and a little bit more. So I think that I'd probably be able to get away with editing some 1080p video using DaVinci Resolve. This is the software that I currently use for my videos. I think it would cover the basics and streaming high definition video is something that would happen very well. So as you might imagine, you will be able to do quite a bit with this desktop PC and for now I think I'll cut that off and we're gonna get to the gaming examples.
All right, so one last thing I need to do is demonstrate that you can use this optical drive, at least for watching some DVDs. Okay, very cool. So would I recommend this PC for use in 2023 and onward? Absolutely, I would. There's so many possibilities. Uh, there's so much potential for upgrades. You can use this for gaming, for video editing, for general use, for a project, uh, network attached storage, uh, server, whatever. If you do end up purchasing one, let me know how it goes in the comments below. And I just got this MSI GTX 1650 graphics card in the mail, so I'll be installing one and posting the video results shortly so stay tuned for that otherwise thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day